Hello everybody and welcome to another Transformers knockoff review. Today, thanks to the guys at TF Direct, I'm taking a look at Saviour. This is part of the Black Mamba line, uh, possibly known as KBB. Hmm. Only time will tell. Uh, this is, of course, their interpretation of the Transformers The Last Night Hound box is pretty much the same as what we got with their other products. We've got Hound on the back there in his bot mode and his vehicle mode. I don't think there's a huge difference between this guy and the official version of the mold. Again, I don't have the official version. I can't justify spending that sort of money on a Voyager figure. There seems to be a lot less on the paint application front with this than we got with the oversized version. But hey, this is Movie 5 Superpower, so hopefully it's amazing. And here we have Hound out of his packaging. Uh, straight off the bat, he does feel like he's made up a much thinner plastic in comparison to the Wei Zhang version. Uh, but that being said, it's definitely not terrible. It's kind of in keeping with the likes of the Hasbro Generations line, for example. It's very much that same sort of consistency. Now we do have some additional paint applications, I believe the extra red crosses, or we do have the ability to remove his helmet. The helmet is now die cast as well. And we don't have any paint applications on the head section there, but that's not the be all and end all. He is a nice looking figure. It's a nice version of Hound. Hasbro did a much better job of this mold in my opinion than they did with the Age of Extinction line. The knockoff people, they didn't really have to improve a great deal with this figure. They didn't have to do that much. Add some paint apps, oversize it possibly, then job done. And he's not overweight. No, he's definitely not classed as overweight. Now the weapons, where the weapons join, the pegs, they do feel somewhat loose in comparison to the Zhang version. Uh, it pegs in much better on the backpack section. It goes really nice and deep in there whereas these these are quite loose I, i'm not happy with kind of how loose they are there's very little resistance on those you can feel like you can just wiggle those free and they'll just come straight off but of course we do have the option just to armor him up much like we did with the official version i think all they've really done is stick some die cast on him a couple of little bits of extra paint on there uh, and, and that's uh, that's about it. Uh, please, if you guys see anything else throughout the video that is different from the original, uh, just point it out in the comment section below, and we'll try and highlight your comments with a big thumbs up so everybody else can see that difference. Here's alongside the Wei Zhang version. Now, in all fairness, I have kitted my Wei Zhang version up with the weapons from Wei Zhang's M02 Detective, uh, so he does look a little bit better than his standard self, but I much prefer that darker green. It's definitely more tactical. It's got that very nice kind of army military green. You've got the different shades there. You've got the darker tone and you've got the lighter tone on the waist belt section. And we do actually get additional Red Cross sections on this hound. We get the additional Red Cross on that pouch piece and the badge on the head is a circular badge with a cross whereas the badge on the larger hound is that same square you get the tampo prints on the shoulders coming around to the side you can see that Wei Zhang decided to go for the green with the metal at the ends uh, whereas the black mamba decided to go for the kind of gold coppery color I believe this is the same as the premier edition uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Again, we get the wrist rotation. Uh, we get the Decepticon checklist on the side there. We've got the blue windows as opposed to the black. We get the, the chassis tampos on here, the call signs, uh, which we don't get on the Black Mamba version. We get the darkened red rims as opposed to the silver. But sculpt and mold-wise, I can't see any clear differences nothing's jumping out at me saying oh i'm vastly different uh, i'm much superior uh maybe we'll see 
more when we get them transformed up into their vehicle mode. Now, although Black Mamba didn't decide to oversize Hound, at least I don't think he's oversized. Uh, he does scale remarkably well with their oversized version of Optimus Prime. Very in keeping, but we still need a replacement head for Prime, one without those horrible blue eyes. Now let's just take a closer look at some of the detailing on Hound. He's got very nice bright blue eyes, much better paint applications on those than we get with the Prime. And you've got a nice kind of black wash over that beard as well. It looks looks really nice. Uh, there's no Saigar in his mouth, there's no bullet like we get with the Wei Zhang version. Getting very minimal paint applications on the front here. We do get some paint on here again the paint that is applied uh, it's a little bit sloppy on there the line isn't exactly uh, perfect but it's hardly noticeable uh, it's only because we're zoomed right in we've got some nice paint applications on there you've got nothing really on the inside or outside of the leg the feet uh, do have this kind of silver hubcap as opposed to the red as previously mentioned but you know the sculpt itself uh, props to Hasbro they did a good job we're black man but just trying to make it more affordable for those of us that can't get a hold of these figures uh, who knows oh, please don't get me wrong though this is a very fun toy uh, that's props to Hasbro they made this line kind of fun again they've minimized on the kibble. The transformations are kind of more thought out, in my opinion, than the Age of Extinction line. And these are just good toys for adults and children alike to mess around with. Uh, this guy does stand up quite stable. Uh, he's got nice tight joints in these feet here. And as I mentioned in my Waijeng review, I like to have my kind of weapons stored on the back like this, very kind of mac macros. Robotech style and then he can kind of have this I'm shooting out to both sides sort of thing going on Now if this is your first hound rodeo, let me talk you through the articulation Here can go left and right. We can go up and down uh, We can tilt to the side for some quizzical action. The shoulders can come out to the side We can go forwards and backwards. We can move the ammunition on the elbow allowing a nice deep double joint we get rotation on the wrist. There's some rotation on the waist, although it does become a little bit hindered by this die cast section at the back here when turning him around. I mean, it's not a huge amount of hindrance. I mean, it's still a very natural angle that he can get his torso to. I mean, we can't turn our torsos all the way around, but it's there nonetheless. This front section, due to the transformation, does untab and move forward if you wish to get your legs further forward if you like to have it tabbed in so it's nice and tidy the legs unfortunately are hindered to this very kind of stumpy angle backwards again hindered by this back section here we can come out to the side uh, ish <laughs> without any hindrance uh, we get some upper thigh rotation in there we do get a kind of a bend at the knee we do get rotation and a nice ratchet joint there we get rotation up and down again on a ratchet uh, so he's pretty loaded for a guy of his stature but i'm not blown away by the range for those of you who like exact stature he stands approximately six and a half inches tall from toe to tip of his head that's around 16 to 17 centimeters. And weight wise, with his weapons in hand, we're looking about 212 grams. That's 7.5 ounces. Now to get Hound transformed up, let's start by storing his weapons on his backpack. Come to Hound's upper torso, give it a tug and extend that fully. We can then compress the head down into that chest cavity, pushing it down and then bringing this back canopy section up and over, open up this leg flap section. Push and tab that into place. Fold up the feet. We can then bring this section up, bring the tires around, and then close this piece off. Bring the bumper section down, 
clicking it into place and then bring the front of the cab upwards. Lift up the weaponry, followed by the arms, and then untap this chest piece and bring that down. Open up the forearm piece and fold the hands backwards. Now make sure you bend this joint at the elbow, not this secondary hinge, the back elbow joint. That now allows us to bring the weaponry all the way to the rear, which now becomes the underside, and we can just, just slide that in, pushing and tabbing as we go, and bring that and bring that over and just tab that down. This lower torso piece is gonna flip all the way up and under and form part of the base. Push and tab all of this front piece together. Yeah, as you can see, we don't have any brand logos on the front there. We can now bring this wheel piece down, rotate it around and there's a tab and a groove just there. Push and tab that in, make sure this is fully push down and then bring the weaponry back over like that. And there we have him fully transformed up into his vehicle mode. As much as I hate to admit it, that was actually easier with a figure this size than it was with the oversized version of Hound. Uh, maybe it's because there was less joints or the joints are somewhat looser, but they all managed to slide in and tab together nicer. This also pegs in much deeper as well. So it sits as it's designed to sit and not how Wei Zhang made it fit. Uh, it all rolls. It's a good solid piece. These front wheels aren't amazing. Uh, they do tend to still rub against those axis underneath there, but it's nice because we can actually get some turn <laughs> on those wheels as well, which helps when displaying him in vehicle mode. It gives it a little bit more of a dynamic look uh, the paint on the windows is okay it's nice and bold on the front there it's it's just the side i think that lets it down it's just just a little bit too bland now scale wise in my personal opinion i think he does scale very well with the black mamba optimus prime i think they look very good together that's a very realistic scale in my opinion bit too small to have in with the MP style vehicles, as is he far too small to display with the Human Alliance vehicles. Now it's funny having these two alongside each other because it actually makes the Black Mamba look like a KO of the Wei Zhang version, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, uh, it's just the additional pegs that we seem to have. I didn't realize until I got the uh, Black Mamba version, but there's additional pegs on various different ports on the Weijang one to keep everything tabbed in nicely. Uh, you've got the additional pegs underneath here, and you've got it again when you flip this over. It's just those little things. And we have additional ports as well, such as the one on the chest, where we can plug in the knife. It's almost like they designed it specifically so you could use the weaponry from your detective. Uh, if that is the case, then fair play to them. Uh, I still don't like the fact that this trailer hitch section won't submerge properly into the Wei Zhang figure, but that is literally one of my only real gripes with the figure. Uh, other than that, the actual mold itself is really nice. You get this uh, kind of pinstriping along the side as well, around where the pipes uh, and such are. Like I said, please, if I have missed any glaring differences between these and the official product, please let me know in the comments section below. Uh, if you're looking for a cheaper alternative to Hasbro and you like their scale, then yes, this is definitely a very good figure. It's nice, it's got some good heft to it, it's well made, but it's not on the same level as the Wei Zhang version. On my scale of 1 to MPP10, uh, the Wei Zhang version scores a good 7. This is about a 5. You know, it's not terrible, but it doesn't wow me. I hope you found this video useful. If you have, feel free to give it a big thumbs up, share, and of course, subscribe. If you do subscribe, make sure you hit that notification bell so that you are alerted every time I upload more 
awesome content. Until next time, from myself and the Black Mamba saviour, ah, goodbye.